Welcome back to Vikings Live, everyone. And as you can see, with seven interceptions in the last two seasons, the hit man is quickly becoming the pit man for that Vikings defense. The hard-hitting safety Harrison Smith, well, he's showing off some soft hands, too, with a big interception in that game against the Jets. And for more on that big play and this big start to the season, Paul Allen is standing by live with the one and only Harrison Smith. P.A., take it away, my man. My man, Harrison Smith, indeed, is our Miller Light player spotlight. Before we, uh, we talk to Harrison about the Jets and the Saints and Drew Brees and everything, the sweatshirt, what, uh, what's the motivation? What is it? This is uh, Latavius Tay Train Murray right here. <laughs> but uh, this is last year's model, and yeah. he made me pay full price for it. So okay. I'm waiting on this year's model. And so I figured if I wore it, this, he would, he would maybe hook me up. So wait, are you a little bandwagon on that? I mean, Latavius has two TDs versus Arizona. He's on Vikings Live last week, has one against the Jets. I mean, is... is I mean, there's no bandwagon. I've, I've been rocking this for, for oh, yeah. over a year now. So it's commitment, and I expect something in return from Latavius. Well, now, with that interception we just saw on Vikings Live, is it difficult intercepting or catching deflected passes? Does that make it like, kind of like a knuckleball? Some of them can be. Uh, the most recent one wasn't. Uh, that was what you know what you what you practice when you're in PBE league, the tip drill, and uh, Xavier just kind of threw me a layup there. Well, now we take a peek at this. See, the the ball is in your left hand, so I would think when you're returning, you would channel your inner Knoxville running back and shift the ball to the excuse me the proper hand. Mm -hmm. Is that fair to say? I used to do that, but now. Uh, I, I know I carry it better in my left, so I just keep it in there. I figure it's the safest. Yeah, Roche, it was a great return too. Were you, were you sniffing the end zone? I thought I was going to get in there. I gotta gotta get a little a little better there on the sideline and, and uh, try to get in the end zone. What would you be like returning punts or kicks? Actually, we talk about this all the time. How terrifying returning punts in the NFL has to be. And really? the fact that Marcus Sherrill's made some of the just catching some of those punts last game with all yeah. with all the wind uh, was unreal. He caught one like as he was going to the ground and getting up at the same time. Uh, so punt, <laughs> punt returns, I would I would pass on those. Well, there are never <laughs> any kick returns anymore because everybody kick just off, bangs it yeah. out of the end zone. Yeah, it's a uh, you know that's that's when the most speed is involved. So I I like catching picks the best. It, it seems to me on a punt return, given your you have some fearless to you, you'd never call for a fair catch. You would just analyze it, catch it, and try to go. I don't want to find out. Ah. Know, I'm I'll stick with the interceptions. All right, you have the Saints this weekend. Let me ask you this: after handicapping Josh Rosen and Sam Darnold. What's this week been like looking at Drew Brees? Well, you know, he's, he's the all-time passing leader. Um, so playing against rookies, very talented, big arms, uh, first year in the league, it's a lot different than going against a vet like Drew Brees who's had so much success. Uh, you know, he's kind of seen it all. He's made all the throws. He can always make the throws. Um, so you've got to just keep picking our game up. What's the best way to slow him? The best way to slow them down, I mean, to me, it's always getting those big guys up front to, yep. uh, you know, get to them, and we have we have the guys to do it. Outside of Drew, what do you respect about their offense? Oh, uh, uh, they uh, they do a lot of things. They they use their personnel in, in great ways, get misdirection. I saw you guys talking about a play earlier where they showed Alvin Kamara kind of going in motion and then uh, hitting Thomas. And um, so they have a lot of weapons, and, and they know how to use them. They can run the ball well, too, to set up the play action. Um, great in the screens as well. So they can, they can do a lot of different things. Everson's back with the team. How excited were you when you first saw him? Yeah, just him coming in the building. You know, obviously, everyone knows how great of a football player he is, but um, we've had lockers, you know, right by each other since I've been here. So just having him back, uh, just talking to him, you know, in between meetings, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, He's, it's just great to have him back around. How about Trey Wayne's game of late? Tackling, interception, the whole thing. Trey Wayne's is playing great. Yeah, um, you know, and, and Trey's, he's incredibly fast and can cover guys. But the thing that I've always loved about him since the day he got here is how well he tackles. And corners aren't really known for that, but he, he's always making great open field tackles and filling exactly where he needs to, which is sometimes hard to get corners to do that. But on top of his great coverage skills, he can make those plays as well. you got a three-game winning streak. Do you feel you guys officially have hit stride or still better to come? You know, I, I don't think anybody in the building thinks, you know, that we've hit stride or anything like that. We constantly want to improve and build on, build on what we've done, learn from our mistakes, and move forward and just see where, you know, see where that leads us. Good luck against those Saints. Thank you.